Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 638. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. Well, today I'm going to share with you some thoughts about wealth mentoring, where I think there are some misconceptions about that and how awesome you all are as an audience. First of all, my goal with the podcast and calling myself a wealth mentor has always been to provide a library of free information on finance, wealth building, credit, investing, women and investing, mindset. My goal is really to provide free financial education and have this as a standalone library where people can come, whether it's a year from now or five years from now, or maybe even after I'm not on this planet anymore, but have this be a place where you can come and learn and know that it's in plain English, it's broken down into simple steps, and I wanted to leave that library, but what's important is that there is a place to go for you to reference information, for you to learn, for you to take this and apply it in your own life and see results. And that's why when you write me these reviews that tell me that you've done that and the success that you've had, it absolutely makes my day. Not because you're praising me, but because you're applying my knowledge, you're applying the reason that I have this podcast, you're applying it to your own life and finding success. And that to me is the coolest thing and you deserve all the credit for that. That's something that you've picked up the ball and run with it. I can only put the ball in your grasp, but you are the one that has to pick it up and run with it. And when I hear what you've done, It's so inspiring. So I wanted to share that with you today and share some of these reviews and comments and things that I've gotten that really have inspired me. Today, I looked at my reviews and found this review from Cat Pre-CPA, and it just made me smile so big. So thank you, Cat. Here's what she had to say. She calls me her mentor. Linda P. Jones has set me straight on the biggest fear in my life, finances. The focus on long-term wealth creation, setting yourself up for financial success, and having a great life. I've always found finances boring, but Linda makes it very accessible. I started listening a few months ago and have completely changed my mindset. I now feel empowered to take charge of my future, excited about the opportunities ahead, and I love sharing this with my friends. Listen from the very first episode, read the book, and be wealthy and smart. Wow, I smiled so big when I read that cat because I recognized that you saw the full value and you put to use the full value of everything that's at your fingertips. You literally picked up the ball and ran with it. So congratulations, good for you. I couldn't be happier and just feel so excited because I know you have many, many years ahead where you're going to be able to use this information and apply it and continue to build financial freedom for yourself. Sometimes it happens that I find a nice post over on Instagram and I wake up and someone has tagged me and that happened a few days ago when Marjorie said this, today is a big day. Today is the first day in many, many years that I am debt-free. Yes, that will change with the new house, but I'm not counting that. Not just debt-free, but free of 22% interest rates that were causing a slow and painful financial death. 22%! There are quite a few people that I need to thank for helping me finish out this debt-free journey, and here's where I'm going to get sappy. The thing is, most of you, if not all of you, have no clue that you paid a part in this journey, 
but I need to thank you for what you've done for me, even if you are completely unaware. You've changed my life. I'm not kidding. It all started with a podcast from My Favorite Murder. It's not about debt, it's about murder, in case you couldn't figure it out by the title. But at the end of each podcast, the hosts of the show give their hooray for the week. They talked about a new podcast called Be Wealthy and Smart. So of course I checked it out and started learning how to channel my inner wealth heiress mindset with host Linda P. Jones. She has a debt payoff method called the Debt Diamond Method. I combined the Debt Diamond Method with the Debt Snowball Method, and started that zero balance life that is quite terrifying, but very effective. So thank you, ladies. You've changed my life. I'm not kidding. My coworkers were also a big part of this journey. And she goes on to thank her coworkers. And I responded to her and I said, wow, Marjorie, congratulations on becoming debt free. I'm so thrilled for you. You deserve all the credit. I'm glad the debt diamond method played a role and likely raised your credit score too, right? You are an inspiration to many people that yes, you can overcome debt. Now that you have reached stability, you can go on to start your investing plan and achieve even greater financial mastery and success. Good for you, Wealth Heiress. And she responded to me and said, I've learned so much from your podcast and I have a plan. I've already been investing in my 401k, but now I'll be able to max out my IRA and I've even set up a brokerage account. I was terrified to do it before, but I feel slightly more savvy and confident with your mentorship. And you are absolutely right. My credit score went up tremendously with the debt diamond method. So smart. Thank you. There's a lot in here, but the thing I noticed from both of those fabulous comments from listeners was the fear component. The fear component. Why is it that we are so afraid to do things? Why is it that we're so afraid to take charge of our finances. Well, I have some different theories on that that I'll probably sound conspiratorial, so maybe I won't go into it here. But I do have to say it is a common problem. And it's a problem with women who have millions of dollars. It's a problem with women who have thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars or negative net worth. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It's a problem. And that's one of the reasons why I tend to focus on women a little bit more is that there is this fear and I want that to be overcome because fear is some people say false evidence appearing real but the truth is is that this fear that women feel is real and that's what has kept a lot of women away from wanting to know more about finances. I try really hard to have a variety of topics. So you can go through the library and find the one that you're feeling today, whether that's how to believe you can do it or actual steps of what to do, of how to get out of debt or other inspiration. That's the whole purpose. It's not just what I did on the last podcast because sometimes they'll be topical if I feel that there's something we need to talk about that's currently in the news. But most of the time, I do try to make it classic and evergreen so you can go back and listen and find the solution to whatever your current problem is. And if it's not in the library, feel free to email me or contact me on social media, Twitter, Instagram. So feel free to contact me with your question at any time. So again, if it's not in the library, let me know because I've really tried to Think about every nook and cranny that could be filled so that whatever question you have, you can find the answer in this wealth mentoring library. If I could, I would do things for you, but I can't. It's something, again, where you have to do it for yourself. But here's the thing. Once you do it for yourself, you feel stronger. You feel more knowledgeable. You feel different. There's something different that happens once you learn to trust yourself, trust your decisions. Once you learn to have financial confidence, you're trustworthy, you're knowledgeable, you're smart enough, you're good enough. Those are all things I want to impart to you. So this wasn't planned. It was very impromptu. I read that review this morning and it prompted me to start thinking about some of these things. And then I decided I wanted to record these thoughts and share them with you because you are just awesome. You're so awesome. And I so appreciate you being here every single episode. And exciting things are happening. 
The other day I woke up and found out this podcast was number three on business and investing in Belgium. So thank you, Belgium. And that's happened in some other countries as well. So it's always a nice surprise to see people around the world are discovering Be Wealthy and Smart. And I'll let you in on a little secret. My book agent is working on getting my book published in China, which is a complete dream. I would love to have an impact on the women of China. That's what I'm visualizing for this Library of Wealth Mentorship. So remember that all of the episodes are on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts, and that there is a search box in the upper right hand corner that you can type in your keyword and see if I have a podcast about it. And if I don't, send me a note to lpjhome at gmail.com and let me know. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.